Okay. Number two of the SB5. Uh, we're going to start up the engine. This is my... Um, <clears throat> this is my GP uh, GP30 uh, number 735. You can hear the air tanks uh, releasing. Now we're going to start her up. <clears throat> and I'll show you something here. I'll show you something here that's kind of that is uh, with the. Uh, I'm gonna put the lights on. I'll move this over real quick here. This is that's this is what's neat about uh, if we can do this one handedly. This is what's neat about having the SB5. If I don't move the SB5 around too much, you can do that. Engine still running engine still running and pro cab is unplugged so i'm gonna put the phone on pause just a second or i'll well maybe i can do this and and i won't move it around hopefully i won't move it around there we go sorry i had to lay the phone down so you're gonna see a little bit of black there for a second but everything's okay we just had to let the phone sit there for a second so here's the uh whistle blowing okay now we're gonna put her in reverse let's make sure that we don't have the i think we've got the yep we do we're gonna release the parking brake and we should be able to release the parking brake or it might be released let's see if it does okay we got to release the parking brake okay parking brake released now we we'll, should be able to back her up Now, this is this is December 2020, and I basically started this layout in uh, uh, July of uh, July of 2015. I kind of had some stuff in 2014. But I didn't really have any engines or anything like that. The, the notion was there in 2014 and, and you know, that thought and everything like that. But nothing really started going until around uh, July of 2015. And uh, this layout of mine uh, for, well... Started out in 2015, 20, about the, almost to the end of 2017, I got the uh, power cab, and, and, uh, we, uh, done the outer route, set it up with the, uh, actually ran the outer route for a while without any you know, without any uh, circuit breakers or anything, probably about three months, four months, and I decided to get the circuit breakers and then hook the circuit breakers in for that. And uh, it's not that I don't want to get the circuit breakers. I do want to get them. It's, it's affording. Uh, I want to get the NCE because, you know, I want to go with... I know you can get other brands of... Uh, of uh, of uh circuit breakers but i want to stay with the nce because they're all you know the same brand same name and you know uh 
I just kind of, I just kind of want to stay that way. And, uh, but we're running her at 29 speed steps. And, uh, we will let her come around. And that did okay when we switched. And we'll hit the we'll hit the tanks here. Now this is going on the inner route. Usually on DC, when I'd run my DC engines, they would slow down. They would come through that. They would come through that uh, section there, and they would slow down. These engines haven't slowed down. They haven't uh, acted like, you know, they don't act like they can't make it through there. Well, I'm not saying that the, on the DCs they can't make it through. It's just they, uh, <clears throat> they just, they just kind of slow down. Of course, I run in a little bit longer trains and stuff uh, uh, on the, uh, uh, when I was doing the DC. Uh, but uh, trains are going through there. Uh, with no problem at all. Uh, I have not backed uh, onto my other uh, section there, just mainly this in here, because I know, you know, this works, you know, so far with this here pretty good. So I thought we'd uh, show uh, this here, and then we'll... Uh, You hear the engine speeding up. And like I say, this is this is the first time. Well, not the first time. I ran I ran DCC. Uh, oh, about probably a couple weeks ago now. Uh, when I hooked my uh, power cab uh, up to my uh, up to my uh, uh, inner route wanted to see how it do and the res the results seemed pretty good you know so I thought you know hey uh, everything you know did fine with that hook it up the exact same way you know and let's go for it and so uh, I'm gonna run this probably three segments so I can kind of show you know uh, I like my videos to be, you know, pretty crisp and pretty clear. And so, uh, I want, uh, uh, when you're, when you're watching, <clears throat> uh, I want you to see instead of, you know, hopefully it's, might have a little bit of a shaky cam, but hopefully it's not too blurry and it's, it, it comes out pretty good. Uh, last night we had a little bit of snow where we live here. Um, I think down in, uh, uh, I think down in southwestern Oklahoma and down in southern Texas, I think they got quite a bit of snow down there. Uh, <clears throat> uh, last night we watched the, uh, me and my folks watched the, uh, National Finals Rodeo. Uh, it's down in Texas. They're playing at uh, uh, Texas Ranger Stadium. Uh, it's the baseball. And uh, if you like uh, if you like rode rodeoing, if you like the rodeos, <clears throat> and uh, it's uh, and uh, you know like following that, uh, it's going to be on for. Uh, it's going to be on for a full week every night, every night, uh, be on tomorrow night at, uh, and we're going to go into another section here. And so please keep, continue watching. <clears throat> 